Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com and in this lesson we are going to learn how to rig this character. Now before we start with this lesson let me show you another shortcut that I use a lot and I will be using it without telling you what I'm doing. The shortcut is, for example, if I have the right arm selected and I press Shift Home, I center that layer, the contents of that layer in the workspace. Okay, if I select the head and press Shift Home, I center and zoom in to that part of the workspace. Okay, and if I just press Home without holding Shift, I restore the view. Okay, that's just a quick shortcut that I wanted to teach you. Now let's prepare this character for animation. All I have to do is create a bone layer. Remember the bone layer? I click the new layer icon and then select bone. Okay. This bone is going to be called Steve, the name of my character, okay? Now let's create the bones. I press A. Right now, those bones are not going to affect anything. I'll tell you how to set it up later. Right now, it's just going to be a bone structure that has nothing connected to it. Whoops, what's this that I'm watching here? This finger... <laughs> Sorry, I just spotted a little mistake. Let me select the right arm, press Q, and select that finger and bring it back, pressing down. Okay, now that's fixed. Okay, let's continue. I select Steve, and then I press A, and add the bones. Remember, first add the master bone. I just click and drag. Whoops, I'm creating the bones, but it's not showing anything because I have this checkbox unchecked. Let me press Ctrl Shift C. There it is. Now let me remove those bones. Okay, just click and drag, holding Shift, and now I can create the body. Right here and right here. Then with this bone selected, I continue to create the arm. Okay, I press A. And then I click and drag, click and drag. And one bone is for the hand and the other bone for the fingers. Then I'll click on the upper body and continue with the right arm. Then the hand, then the fingers. I'm trying to draw the bones in the middle of the drawing. Okay, now I'll click on the master bone and then the right leg. Then I'll click on the master bone and then the left leg. Okay. Now I'll click on the upper body and create the bones for the neck. Now careful, I'm creating one extra bone right here. Let me tell you what I'm doing here. Right now the head is going to be here. Okay. So that's why I needed that bone to be all the way to this point. I'm talking about this bone. And this other bone will help me control those pixels. The pixels right here are being controlled by this bone, okay? And the head will be connected to the middle bone, okay? So with the Add Bones tool selected, I'll click on the middle bone and then create the bone for the head. Now, because I have that shape for the head, I'm going to create this bone bones for the cheeks. Now I'll click on the head, then another bone for the other cheek, so I can control it, right? Okay, so now I have all the bones. As you can see, if I move any bone, it's not affecting anything, right? So all we need to do is have the respective layers be affected by those bones. How? Well, just go to the Layers panel, select all your layers, I just click on the head, then hold Shift, click on the neck, and then click and drag inside the bone, you see? Right now, this is highlighting. If I drop it there, all the layers will be above that bone. But if I want it inside, I just drag inside the bone layer. Boom. Ah, now all those bones will affect my drawing. Let me show you. I press Z to select the bone manipulation tool and now I can move it. You see, very interesting. Now there's a problem though. If I move the hand, 
Pay attention to this area. You see, it's moving a little bit of the... Actually, it also moves a little bit of the belly and the leg. And so, I need the strength to be very, very thin. I, for example, let me move the head. You see, it's moving some pixels of the neck. I don't want that. So, I select Steve layer, then press Ctrl A, then I press S, or you can also select the bone strength tool, and drop this, I click and drag, and drop all the way to maybe, hmm, maybe even thinner. You want this to be the bone strength, you want it to be around 0 0.07, 0 0.05, okay? That number I think is good. Let me try it. I press Z, then click on an empty space, and now it can move. Ah, now it's not affecting other bones. You see? This is cool. Very good. Okay, now it's working. Now, all I have to do is bring the character together. All I have to do is select the offset bone and bring all the parts together. Every single part to where it belongs. There. Okay? And now if I move every bone, it moves independently. Very good. Now it's working. Okay? Now you have to be careful to where you put the points. Right now if I flex this, it's not flexing the way I want it. So the way to fix it is by selecting the correct layer, in this case is the left arm, and then as you can see, this point should be around here. I need this point to be here, and this point to be here. So the joint, which is this part, moves correctly, okay? So let me just select the transport tool, and that puts all the layers in the default position, it's okay. I just need to move some points. This one should go there. And this one should go to the joint. Okay, for that I might need to fix some points. Okay? And maybe this point doesn't need to be there. So I'm just going to delete it and bring this down a little bit. Now, there's a quick way to fix the curve. Just select the point, then press Ctrl P to make it peak, then press Ctrl M, and that resets the curve, okay? And maybe even make the curve a little bit bigger. I'll do the same here, Ctrl P, Ctrl M, there. And maybe I don't need this point, so I'm going to delete it and reset this point again. Ctrl P, M, then select this point. Control P, Control M. There. Now it looks better. Okay, let's test it. I press Z. Yes, now it's flexing as the way I want it. Okay, very good. I'm going to check all my other points. So I select the right arm, then I select the transform points. Oh, this is not bad. Let me just fix this a little bit, put them in the correct position. And I think that's it. Then the legs. I select the right leg, and the points appear to be in the correct position. Then the left leg, and the points are in the correct position also. But I think I'm going to fix those points. So let me just press T and click on an empty space and put them in the correct position right there i think i'm going to do the same with the right leg click on an empty space then put them in position okay now the points are aligned okay how about the body let's check it i press t Select the body. Ooh, this point can be improved. I'm going to put it here. There. Okay. Maybe move this a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. 
And the neck, ooh, I don't want this part here. I'm going to hide that line. I'm making little corrections. I select the neck, then press H, and I think that's it. Oh no, actually with H, with the hide edge function, I just hide those edges. And I think I'm all set. Everything is set up. Let me press Z. And yes, my character is ready to be animated. I can move his cheeks a little bit, right? I can move his neck. Okay, now everything is ready. Great, now I have a character called Steve. Okay, now in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to animate this character. See you there.